Are you renting a dumpster and unsure what you can put in it? This video will list the items that are typically allowed in a dumpster. Hello, welcome to Hometown Dumpster Rental, the place where you can get all of your dumpster rental questions answered. My name is Rachel and I'm a consumer educator here at Hometown Dumpster Rental. Hometown Dumpster Rental is the nation's number one place to find and rent a dumpster in your hometown. Just visit hometowndumpsterrental.com to find your local dumpster haulers. Today's video will give you some idea of what is allowed to go into a dumpster. This certainly isn't a complete list, as individual haulers will make their own policies about what items they accept. The items we discuss here today are what most haulers will accept. As a rule of thumb, most non-hazardous waste, junk, and debris are permitted in dumpsters. What can go in a dumpster? Most non-hazardous waste, junk, and debris are permitted in dumpsters. Items commonly allowed in a dumpster include, number one, furniture. Couches, tables, chairs, Almost all types of furniture are accepted in dumpsters. However, in some locations, upholstered furniture and mattresses are not allowed in landfills. And in others, you can throw away furniture and mattresses in a dumpster, but it can come with additional fees depending on your local area's regulations. Always be sure to check with your dumpster rental provider about the types of furniture they allow in their containers. Number two, appliances. Refrigerators, AC units, washers, and dryers. A majority of general household appliances are allowed to be thrown in a dumpster, but all hazardous fluids and components, like Freon, must be removed first. If you wish to get rid of a Freon-containing appliance, you will need to hire a professional, like an appliance repair specialist or HVAC pro, to remove the refrigerant before disposing of it. Number three, electronics. Computers, TVs, printers, and other electronics are commonly accepted in most dumpsters. But if you have a large quantity of electronics, like an office cleanout, you will most likely be required to recycle them as e-waste. In those cases, it's common that an additional charge will be applied per item in order to cover recycling fees. In some areas, local regulations do not allow electronics to be tossed in dumpsters at all, so be sure to check with your dumpster rental provider. Donate or recycle e-waste, like cell phones, tablets, computers, or printers. Donate working TVs and appliances to Habitat for Humanity or another local charity. Number four, yard waste. Trees, branches, brush, grass, and other green waste are allowed in most dumpsters. However, whether or not a dumpster company will accept yard waste depends on your area's regulations. In some locations, you are limited to the amount of green waste you can send to a landfill, while in others, you can fill a dumpster to its limit. Here's a pro tip. Some companies offer a clean load option for dumpsters at a discounted price. Clean loading a dumpster means only loading one specific type of recyclable material into the dumpster, like concrete or yard waste. The materials are then recycled and diverted from the landfill, so you save the environment and your wallet. Number five, construction debris. Heavy debris, like concrete, asphalt, and brick, can be thrown in most dumpsters, but due to its weight, some companies require the use of specific dumpsters designated for heavy materials. Asphalt roofing shingles are another heavy debris that can go in a dumpster. However, there is sometimes a fee associated with shingle disposal, so ask the dumpster rental providers you get quotes from about whether or not they charge extra for roofing shingle disposal. Number six, renovation debris. Drywall, wooden materials, siding, and other construction and demolition debris can go in dumpsters. With heavy debris, dumpster weight limits are especially important. If you go over the amount of weight included in your quoted price, you will have to remove the additional weight or pay overage fees, either of which would be a serious headache for you. Number seven, other items that can be put in a dumpster include toys, curtains, carpeting, old documents, cardboard, and similar non-organic trash can all be put in a dumpster too. Remember, this list includes the most popular items that are allowed in a dumpster. If you're unsure, reach out to your dumpster hauler and ask. Do your part to protect the planet and keep as much out of the landfill as possible by donating, selling, or recycling items first when you can. Okay, now you know what you can put in a dumpster. Be sure to check out our other videos to see what is not allowed to be put in a dumpster. If you want a quote on renting a dumpster, remember, hometowndumpsterrental.com is America's premier destination for finding and renting a dumpster in your hometown. Just remember, the big orange H stands for hometown.